so there could be three possible results of this test we'll talk about them one by one the first result could be red slant and yellow butt second result could be yellow slant and yellow butt and third result could be red slant or red butt or red slant and no change in color this media before inoculation this tsi media is dark orange color after inoculation these could be the results in the first result red slant and yellow butt means this bacteria that we have inoculated is non lactose fermenter how how it is non lactose fermenter because this media contain glucose this bacteria has broken down glucose aerobically first and glucose is present in very less concentration after glucose is utilized this bacteria has utilized peptone peptone is also present in the media and when peptone is broken down it is broken down into ammonia and ammonia is alkaline so this slant will be alkaline so this phenol red ph indicator will turn into red color whereas in the butt part in the bottom part glucose is fermented and due to fermentation the ph will be goes ph will go down and phenol red will convert into yellow color so but will be acidic other than red slant and yellow but certain bacteria can also produces gas the gas is seen in the form of cracks in the media or in the form of air trapped in the media or sometimes gas is trapped in the lower portion this whole media is pushed in the upward direction other than gas hydrogen sulfide is also produced by certain bacteria sodium thiosulfate which is present in the media is broken down into hydro into hydrogen sulfide hydrogen sulfide is a colorless product this hydrogen sulfide will react with ferrous sulfate and this media will be converted into black color certain bacteria produces hydrogen sulfide by the breakdown of sodium thiosulfate hydrogen sulfide is a colorless product it will react with ferrous sulfate and turn the media blackish this hydrogen sulfide are produced mainly by salmonella and proteus and non lactose fermenter bacteria of enterobacteria c includes shigella shigella produces red slant and yellow but it do not produce any kind of gas and do not produce h2s whereas salmonella and proteus are also non lactose fermenter they produce red slant yellow but they do not produce any kind of gas and they produces hydrogen sulfide and hydrogen sulfide in case of proteus is seen in the butt portion butt portion will be blackish after 18 to 24 hours but in case of salmonella very small amount of this h2s is produced in this slant part so salmonella and proteus produces h2s where the shigella do not produce hydrogen sulfide the second possibility is yellow slant and yellow but it means that bacteria has fermented both glucose and lactose so this test tube bacteria that we have inoculated is a lactose fermenter this bacteria has broken down both glucose and lactose uh, both the bacteria in the medium has fermented both glucose and lactose and due to acid production phenol red will be red so there will be acidic condition in the slant whereas butt is also acidic 
एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लेक्टोज फर्मेंटर बैक्टीरिया ऑफ इंटेरो बैक्टीरिया सी फैमिली आर इक्वलाई एंड क्लैपशियाला अदर देन येलो स्लॉट एंड येलो बट इक्वल एंड क्लैपशियाला ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस इज गैस दे आर गैस पॉजिटिव बोथ गैस आर सीन समाइम बाय द in the form of cracks in the media this agar is broken down to two to three pieces or sometimes the gas is trapped in the lower portion and the whole media is pushed in the upward direction yellow slant yellow bud is seen in the form of in lactose fermenter bacteria whereas the third possibility is red slant and red bud it means this bacteria is non fermenter this bacteria do not ferment any kind of sugar this bacteria has broken down peptone into ammonia and due to ammonia production this slant and but will be alkaline because ammonia is alkaline in nature example of non fermenter bacteria are pseudomonas pseudomonas do not belong to enterobacteria c it's a obligate aerobe other than pseudomonas certain bacteria can break down this uh, peptone aerobically and only slant will be red in color but certain bacteria uh, break down this peptone aerobically in the slant as well as in the butt portion so both the red slant and butt will also be red in color so these are three possible results of this test if you have any question regarding this topic you can ask in the comment section thank you